Hello and welcome. This is going to be a lore reading. So let's see what we learned by <clears throat> storming the Tower of Michal. Shriek. Scholars call these tall, lean, dark spawn the Sharlock. Though they move, they are more popularly known as Shrieks because of the ear splitting cries they emit in battle. Many tales exist of soldiers being unnerved by the sounds of approaching shrieks cloaked in darkness and never seen until the moment they strike. As horrors of the night, shrieks are renowned for their incredible speed and agility as well as their stealth. They are the assassins of the darkspawn, penetrating the enemy lines and striking their targets using long jagged blades attached to their forearms to rip their opponents to shreds in seconds. They've also been known to employ poison, often drawn from their own blood, and have demonstrated cunning group tactics when attacking in numbers. Okay, let's go to the documents. Okay, let's go with one of three first. Where there's no space for three of three. Interesting. To his majesty, King Caelan of Ferelden, my warden commander assures me that we face a blight. This thing threatens us both, and we must both work together to fight it, lest it devour all. Our two nations have not had a happy history, and but that is all it is, history. Well, unlikely, but I feel like putting your history behind you for this is a good plan. It is the future that is at stake now. Let us put aside our father's disagreements so that we may secure the future for both our countries. My chevaliers, stand ready and will accompany the Grey Wardens of Orlais to Ferelden. At your word, the might of Orlais will march to reinforce the Ferelden forces. Sincerely, yes, Empress Selene I. An official letter from Empress Selene I of Orlais to King Caelan of Ferelden. Your Majesty, my men will arrive as soon as possible to bolster your forces, make your willing. This blight will be ended before it has begun. Caelan, I beseech you, as your uncle, do not join the Grey Wardens on the field. You cannot afford to take this risk. Ferelden cannot afford it. Let me remind you again that you do not have an heir. Your death, and it pains me to even think of it, would plunge Ferelden into chaos. And yes, perhaps when this is over, you will allow me to bring up the subject of your heir, while a son from both the Theron and Mactir lines would unite Ferelden like no other. We must accept that perhaps this can never be. The queen approaches her thirteenth, her thirtieth year, and her ability to give you children lessens with each passing month. I submit to you. I submit to you again that it might be time to put Honora aside. We parted harshly last time I spoke of this, and it has been a full year since then, and nothing has changed. Please, nephew, consider my words, and Andraste's grace be with you. Letter from all to King Caelan. That's... Hmm. That's interesting. And again, we see a woman being blamed for the fact that there are no male heirs. And I don't... I don't know the biology. I don't not sure when prime birth given years are. I know the body is like fully ready in the mid 20s. I think the 30s could still successfully give birth. And it is assuming that the woman, or the womb, is the problem and not the uh, seed that's being put into it. Ugh. <sighs> In any case, that's the end of this for now. There's no more lore for this one. I hope you enjoyed doing involvement things with the YouTube spots, and have a nice day.